All right, everybody, I am down at my lake property this weekend. Uh, another lovely rainy day today. Um, I just had my boathouse slash boat dock built. Um, and I was gonna do a two part video of the construction of this, how it started uh, from start to finish. Uh, the first part's gonna be that. And then the second part will be the breakdown of the cost and everything. So to keep these videos short, um, I'm going to do it in two parts and I will include like a slideshow probably with no sound and then I'll throw some videos in between um, and so if you're interested in this kind of thing uh, just keep on watching stay tuned and uh, hopefully I can explain all this. All right, guys, I am down here at my lake property today. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys what's going on down here. I just had my driveway plowed the other day, well, a couple weeks ago. A guy come in and bulldoze it. And it looks like they're starting to, they're uh, getting ready to start framing my boathouse in. Got all the wood out here. And uh, I'm going to go down by the lake here. They just finished driving all the pylons uh, last week. This is what we got here. This is going to be the boathouse. I'm going to kind of go over this once this is done. This is not going to be like a time lapse video or anything because I can only get out here once a week. So they're coming here to start framing on Monday. This thing might be damn near done by the time I get out here next weekend. Well, here's what we got over here. 
this is going to be 39 feet this way 32 feet this way all right this is going to be a 13 by 32 deck area right here all right over here is going to be a storage area and then there's going to be a 10 by 23 foot boat slip right here we're going to have a three foot walkway right here over here it's going to be an 11 by 28 foot boat slip with a two foot uh little walkway right here so the wake boat's going to go here this will be set up with two jet skis right now i don't know if i'm going to bring my bass boat down here yet or not but if i do it'll go in there and then the jet ski i'll just buy jet ski list and they'll go on the outside over there well, for right now we're going to do two jet skis here wake boat here and that's pretty much going to be the setup uh, like i say they're going to come tomorrow they're going to start framing and then i'm going to kind of break this down i'm going to go over everything and i'm going to kind of go over costs and everything so people know because i don't think there's many videos out there about costs of boathouses or, or what they do so uh yeah we'll go over all that and uh so I'm going to stop this here, and I'll pick you up on the next one. All right, everybody, I'm back at the week uh, at the lake one week later. Looks like uh, there's two guys that have been working on this during the week. We had one rainy day, so it looks like they got most of the deck down. It's not quite all screwed down yet, but they got it pretty much all down. Also, if you notice a little earlier in the video, these poles were not all the same height. Okay? Uh, these poles, they had to splice some sections. These poles come in 20, 24, and 26 foot long. Sometimes they go deeper in certain spots. Um, sometimes they don't. It all depends. They use 26s in the back back there. Uh, let's just say, for instance, this one could go 10 feet in the ground or 12 feet in the ground. And this one over here could only go 6 feet in the ground, let's just say. So they never really know what the depth's going to be. So they use the longest ones they can. And there is a charge for splicing these poles together and making them longer. Uh, they had to do 17 of those. So we'll talk about the cost of that later. And I uh, just wanted to show you the one week update and uh, I'll be back next week to see where they're going to, how much they're going to get done. It's supposed to be starting on the roof next week. So uh, we'll see what they can get accomplished. All right. I'm back one week later. It is a rainy, miserable day. It's been this way for about a week. Well, not a week, but three days. So this is the progress they made. going to make this quick. They got the roof all kind of getting ready to be framed in they're probably going to sheath the next week so that'd be good uh so i'm just going to leave it here and uh we'll pick it up next week all right it's been another week i'm out here again uh looks like they're getting ready to put the roof on or the shingles on they got the storage shut up over here i'm not gonna walk down there yet right now but uh just wanted to give you another one week update i'll go over the thing later they're getting ready they got the scaffolding up they're going to be putting the uh boat lifts in there probably next week this thing will probably be finished next week um they've had a tough go at it in the last 14 days it has rained like 10 days in a row so uh it's been very difficult for them to get things done but they've made quite a bit of progress which is which is really good so all right i'll come back next week and uh maybe this will be all done and they'll go over everything so that's the video uh basically how we got to this point uh right now i'm having a lot more done to the property um i'm gonna take a walk down there real quick and just kind of show you really fast what it looks like down there and then like i said the next video i'll break it all down um right now i'm having some i'm having my riprap put in down by the shoreline uh they're doing my driveway so they got their they got their some of their equipment out here uh they're gonna redo all this bottom of the driveway and so let's just take a quick walk down here right now while this is all kind of rough uh there will be stairs right here um coming up the bank but like i say they had to do this riprap first 
So, so that's why there's no stairs there quite yet. And so I'm just gonna take a quick walk down and show you. There's the riprap they put in. I'll go over that as well too. All right, so here's the first one with the lift. This is gonna be where the wake boat's gonna go. And you're gonna walk over here. And this is gonna be for the two jet skis. And this will be the area here with the, I'm gonna have a big bed swing here on this side. And then um, this will be the, the table area. I'm gonna put a big table out here and stuff, but uh, we'll get we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, so basically here it is. And I got the storage shed over there. And it looks like they're doing a good job on the riprap. So, all right, so I'm going to end this video here. And uh, I will put out the part two video soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as soon as I can get down here and break all that down, I'll get that done. So I hope you enjoyed this part so far. And uh, I'll catch up with you on the next one.